Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee, and today we're going to do a 35 minute yoga sculpt. So for class, I'm going to use two sets of weights, one light and one heavy, and a light resistance band. If you don't have the band, no worries. You can definitely modify class without it, but it will give an extra burn if you do have one close by. There's a Spotify playlist in the description, as always, if you like music for class. And let's get started. We're starting in a tabletop today. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, spread the fingers wide, find your neutral spine. And then on your inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale to tuck around, push into the hands, chin towards chest. Just a couple more like that, starting to warm up the spine. Link your breath to your movement and arrive on the four corners of your mat, noticing how your body feels today. What's going on physically, emotionally, mentally. And whatever is going on, if it doesn't pertain to this moment in time, can you let it be outside of your mat? Tuck the toes and the hips high, down dog. Using the next 30 minutes or so as a way to simply disconnect from the day to day from work, family, school, whatever is going on, and be here, present with yourself, your body. Beautiful. Next inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward in between the hands. Drop the left knee. Inhale, low lunge. Press the hips forward as you sweep the arms up to the sky. On the exhale, just one time, push the hips back straight and through the right leg, half splits. Good. Next inhale, shift back forward, low lunge. Exhale to plant the hands, step back, down dog. Left side, inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, step it forward, drop the right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, press the hips forward, big stretch. Exhale, push the hips back, straighten through the left leg. Good, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, down dog. Next inhale, lift the heels. On the exhale, dip them over to the left, stretching through the right side body. Inhale to move through center, exhale, heels to the right. Inhale, through center, exhale, walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, right back down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back first, high planks, and the heels towards the back of the mat, push into the hands, engage the core. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Next, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Halfway. Step back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. One breath in, one breath out. Good, next inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat, last sun A. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up, exhale, right back down. Inhale, halfway, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, deep breath in, deep breath out, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat, halfway, forward fold, chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky, exhale to airplane the arms and lift the heels, gaze at one point to balance, inhale, chair pose, exhale, airplane, good, inhale, chair, Exhale, airplane. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. You could jump. Inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick high. Exhale, cross body. Inhale, kick high. Exhale, step forward, crescent lunge, lift all the way up. Where you're two on your breath out. Inhale, reverse, reach back. 
Exhale, chaturanga. Maybe right leg stays lifted for an extra challenge. Up dog to down dog. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, pull it in, tap. Inhale, kick it. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick high. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, kick high. Exhale, step, left foot forward. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Good, inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, chaturanga. Left foot could stay lifted. Up dog, down dog. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Catch your breath here. Anytime we're in down dog, a moment to pause. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, tap in the mat. Halfway, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, little pulse low. So send the weight into the heels here. Keep the arms by the ears. Gaze forward, engage the core. Last four, last three. We're gonna come to a seat in two, in one. All right, drop all the way down to a seat. Grab your light weights on the way. We are coming onto our back. We're gonna start with a little chest and core warm up. So light weights in the hands, head heavy. Reach the fingers up to the sky, palms face each other, soften in the elbows. We're gonna start with just a chest slide. So we'll go down for two, then lift for two. You can grab your heavier weights here. Our chest is pretty strong, so we can use a lot of weight, but we're eventually gonna come up to a crunch. So you would decide what's gonna work better for your body right now. Lower, lift. And when you lift, think about squeezing the chest, right? Like you're hugging something in between the arms. That will help to target your pecs, activate them. Yes, good. Lift, lower. Core engaged. Couple more. We add on. In four. In three. In two. In one, all right, follow me. We take it wide and then we're gonna reach forward. Take the chest, the shoulders, the neck up and then reach all the way back down, drop the head. Come all the way back through center. Arms go down wide. Lift up, little crunch, reach the fingers forward. So we go down, squeeze, lower, reach. So your biceps are starting to work as well here. Engage the core. Chin stays away from the chest. You're gazing up to the sky. If this is too much for the neck, you could always keep the neck, the head down on the ground for a little bit more support. And when you lift, if you are lifting the head, think about curling all the way up off of your shoulder blades. And we got eight, seven, six, Five. Last four. We're going to keep it lifted. We're going to curl alternating arms in two. In one. Keep it lifted right arm. Curl. Reach long. Switch. Left arm. So keep the bend in the elbow so that the elbow joint stays safe here. Yes. Right. Left. Good. Couple more. We got four. Keep the head up if you can. We got three. Last two, last one. All right, both arms forward, little reach forward, little pulse. Keep that soft bend in the elbows. Yes. We got eight, seven, six, five, last four, last three, last two, last one. Beautiful, drop it down. Take the weights off to the chest, pull the knees in. Rock up to a seat, put the weights off to the side. Great work. Step or float, chaturanga. Option to skip any vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out, let it go. Two more breaths here, inhale. 
and exhale. Last one, deepest breath in, deepest breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, grab your heavier set of weights. We're gonna find a little combo sequence. So we'll start feet about hips width. We're gonna start with some good morning. So take the weights to the shoulders. They're still in the hands. We'll eventually shoulder press. We're gonna take a soft bend in the elbows, or in the knees rather, and the elbows. As we sit the hips back, lean forward, and then come up, squeeze the glutes. So it's kind of like a deadlift action, that hinge movement but we have the weights up at our shoulders. So we're working through our glutes, our hamstrings, our back, our core, good. Send the weight back into your heels so that the toes are light, meaning the posterior chain is gonna do this movement. Yeah, good. Lift, engage the core. Soft bend in the knees. And you're gazing forward the whole time. I'm definitely feeling my glutes. Eight counts, eight. Six. As we lift, we shoulder press in two. Right here. So as you lift, press the weights up. Take them back to the shoulders. Shift it forward. Lift it up, press the weights up, good. So it's that combo move, press, lower, hinge, lift, press, lower, hinge, good. All right, next time, hold the shoulder press, up, down, lower, lift, Good, engage your core. Narrow shoulder press, in, out. Soften in the knees. Eight counts, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We hold it up, find triceps. In, two, one, bend, extend, bend, extend, overhead tricep extension. Core engaged, yeah, bend, extend, bend, extend. Oh my goodness, you got it. Eight counts, eight, seven, six, five. We hold the elbows bent, four, three, two, and one, hold it bent, little pulses, oh my God, eight, seven, six, five, last push. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, awesome. All right, put the weights down. Let's chaturanga. Option to skip any vinyasa, of course. Just a moment to reset. Link breath to movement again. That chaturanga felt very hard. Good, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Two more cycles here, inhale. And exhale, child's pose is there if you need it. Last one. Beautiful, next inhale, lift your heels, exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right, grab your weights, again, your heavier weights. We're stepping to the back of the mat. We're gonna find a forward lunge. We're gonna start with just the right foot. Arms hang down by the sides. Ground into your left foot. We'll step right foot way forward, then step it back. Right here, so we'll go forward, then back. Good, forward and back. So a front lunge is different than a reverse lunge, of course. We're getting a little bit more into the quad. Your left leg is stabilizing you. Your front leg, your right leg moves, yeah. If this is too hard on the knees, switch it for a reverse lunge. That's your modification here. Forward, back, beautiful. 
Spine straight, core engaged. Big step. You got it. Nice. And this lunge, by nature, is just going to be a little bit shorter than a regular lunge, right? When you step back, you have a little bit more space. All right, we're going to hold it into one right here. Hold it. We're going to dip low as we come up. Swing the weights up straight in both legs. Down, swing up, down, swing up. Good. Use your legs to lift you. Engage your core. Swing and lower. Yes, that looks awesome. Down and up. Holy quads, they're on fire. Four counts. Three, two, last one. Hold it low, right heel up. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, we switch. Three, two, one, beautiful. Step it forward and then walk to the back of the mat. Great work, all right, we're switching sides. Left foot forward this time. Step forward, step back, good. Forward, back. You wanna step the left foot in line with the hip so you have space to balance, to center yourself. Forward, back, yeah, that looks awesome. Spine straight, core engaged, gaze at one point, you got it. Forward, back. My quads are definitely gonna feel it tomorrow. Back, forward. Try to land soft. All right, we hold it forward. Next time, hold it forward. Find your balance. We dip down, swing up, straighten the legs. Dip, swing. So really ground into your left foot. Use the legs to help lift you. Square the hips to the top of your space. Yes, I bet you look awesome. Keep going. Swing, swing. Four counts. Three, we'll hold it low, left heel up. In two, one, All right, hold it low, left heel up, down, lift, lower, quads, on fire, last four, last three, last two, last one, beautiful, step it forward, oh my god, jello, all right, put those weights down, come to the top of the mat, sweep the arms up, exhale, fold, inhale, halfway, exhale, chaturanga, up dog, to down dog, deep breath in, Deep breath out. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, deepest breath in. Deepest breath out. Good, next inhale, shift forward and drop the knees. We're gonna find a little glute sequence. I'm gonna grab a heavy weight. You can go light or heavy. Squeeze it behind the right knee. Hands down. A Little wider than shoulder width. Hands a little bit in front of the shoulders. Squeeze that weight. We'll go. Lift for two. Lower for two. All right. Already feels heavy, but we can do it. This is not our longest glute sequence ever. So if you can go heavier, do it. Challenge yourself. Good. We're doing extension. Back behind. So hip extension. That's our glute max. Doing that movement. Our core is stabilizing us, our shoulders are stabilizing us, and the left hip, the left glute medius. If you start to feel it a lot in your left hip, push more into your right hand. That will distribute the weight side to side a little bit more evenly. Lift, lower, oh my God, up, down, you got it. 
Lower, lift. Down, up. A couple more. Lift, lower. Down, up. Eight counts. Eight. Six. We keep it lifted. Little pulses in four. In three. In two. In one. Keep it lifted. Pulse up. Up. Squeeze the right glute. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, lift, lift. Yes, all right. We're gonna move to back after this in between sides. Not yet. In four, we'll grab that weight in the right hand. Find a row. In three, in two, in one. Right here, drop the right knee. Grab that weight. Take it down, keep your tabletop, right arm up, down, row, release. All right, so we're still stabilizing with the core and the shoulders, but I want you to start to feel this in your back, specifically your lat on the right side. It's a big muscle that connects your arm to your spine. Yes, lower, lift. You can also feel your obliques here. I know I do at least, down, up, we got eight, seven, six, five. Last four, we keep it lifted. Little tiny pulses up in two, in one. Keep it lifted, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, we are switching sides. Weight behind the left knee now. Both hands support you, squeeze that weight. Left leg up and down, good. Lift and lower, lift and lower, yes. Big squeeze for the left side, glute, you got this. Down and up, lower, lift, woo! This feels heavy. <laughs> Squeeze that glute. Yeah. Down, up. Lift, lower. Down, up. Beautiful. I bet you look awesome as always. You got this. Down, lift. Lower, lift. And when we switch sides, it might take a minute or so to really start to feel the second side, right? Maybe the other side is still a little bit tingly. I know that's how it happens for me. Lower, lift. Stay engaged. Find that mind-muscle connection. So feel your left glute working. All right. We keep it lifted. Right here, little pulses straight up. Little lift up and up. Squeeze left glute. Lift 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 yes up 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 oh my god lift 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 we got eight seven six five we finish with that row in four three two one okay drop the left knee grab that weight right hand still supports you left arm up down big row drop row drop Engage your core. Yes. Row. Row. Think taking left elbow way up past the ribs. That's it. Up. Up. Row. Row. I'm definitely shaking. We got eight. Seven. We pulse in six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, keep it lifted, little pulses straight up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Oh my goodness. Put that weight off to the side. Grab your band. You can come to a seat to put it on. We're gonna find a little plank sequence. We'll do some abduction. So we'll get the outsides of the hips, some core, some shoulders, of course, in our plank. So when you're ready, 
Find your plank. Right away, we're just going to shift back to down dog, then forward to plank. Back, forward. The band is around mid thigh. Good. And you might have to readjust it as the sequ sequence goes on. And that's something that you decide for yourself. Back, forward. Good. We got four. We got three. We're going to hold the plank. Two and one. Hold the plank. Right knee. In. Step back. Left knee. In. Step back. Right. Left. Oh my God. Hello core. Right. Left. All right. We're finding down dog squats. Right here. So we'll go squat. Shift forward. Bend. Extend. So you're bending the knees to a hover above the mat. Feet are about hips width, maybe a tiny bit wider. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're going to hold it forward. We'll tap side to side. Two, one, right here. Tap right, center, left, center. Good. Right. Left. Modification is to drop down onto the knees. Find an abduction there in a table. Good. Wherever you are. Deep breaths. We got eight, seven, six, five. We go back to the beginning. Four counts. Four, three, two, one. Right here we'll go. Back, forward. Shift back, shift forward, yes, eight. Spread the fingers wide, four. We keep it forward, one knee in at a time, in two, one left knee in, right knee, left, right, yes, all right. We finish this time with plank jacks in two, one, right here, jump out, in, out, in, yes, out, in, option, tap, tap, side to side, that's low impact, good, eight counts, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, drop the knees down. Oh my goodness, sit up onto the knees, interlace the fingers, roll out the wrists a few times. Great work, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. All right, last core sequence. Sweep the feet forward, keep the band, everything else we do not need. Lay all the way down, head heavy. All right, arms by the sides. Lift the legs up and then slide the band closer towards your knees. And then take the toes together, knees wide. So that right away there's tension on the band. Actually drive the heels together. So you're making that V with the feet and the diamond shape with the thighs. Arms go down, maybe you sit on the forearms a little bit. We're gonna kick the legs out long, keep that V shape, keep the diamond shape, and then pull the knees back into the chest. So we'll go out and in. All right, we're finishing with transverse core and inner thighs. You can also feel your glutes here as well with the band on. If you don't have the band, you're just doing the same exact movement. Push, pull. Good. Way harder than it looks. <laughs> In, out. The head stays heavy here. Good. In, out. Out, in. Four counts. Four. We hold it long. In, three. We'll crisscross the legs. In, two. In one, right here, keep legs externally rotated. Right leg over, left leg over. Try to keep tension on the band. Right, left, right, left. Oh my goodness, eight, seven, six, five. We press out and in, in four, 
in three, in two, in one, right here, heels together, in for two, and out, press long, in and out. So the knees point away from the midline, push and pull, good, you got this. We're gonna finish with some frog thrusts. So we'll take the feet together, knees wide like you're going to Supta Baddha Konasana, not yet, in four, in three, in two, in one, right here. Okay, step the feet together, knees wide. Maybe it's not the deepest shape since the band is there. We lift the hips up, then down, lift, lower. If this doesn't work for your knees, you find a regular bridge pose. Lift, lower, good. Feet together, knees wide, and you're pressing out into that band. Spicy, I know. Eight counts, eight, seven, six, Five, we'll keep it lifted, tiny pulses, straight up. Four, three, two, one, right here, little pulse. Keep the knees wide, press into the band, lift the hips straight up, yeah. Lift, 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 final push. Eight, seven, six, five, final four, final three, Final two, and one. Drop it down, awesome job. Pull the knees into the chest, slide that band off, throw it off to the side. We are done with it. Let the head heavy, drop the knees in towards each other, take the feet as wide as the mat, close the eyes down. Give yourself a moment to simply be right here on your mat. Long, slow, deep breaths. Taking a moment in stillness as we begin to wind down the practice, bringing the body out of fight or flight, which it goes into every time we work out. And it's a good thing, we safeguard the muscles. So when we're in fight or flight, everything tenses up. So we have muscles that Contract in order to keep the other one safe. But now allow yourself to get back into that rest, relaxed state. Take deep breaths to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. Reminding yourself that you're safe right here, right now. Beautiful, and then draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Let's find a happy baby. Knees wide, soles lift to the sky. Stabilize the spine. Draw the tailbone down towards the ground as you draw the knees towards the outer shoulders. Maybe rock, maybe straighten one leg at a time. As always, what feels good here? How can you discover what feels good in your body? And that's just through trying things out, through movement knowing that each day is totally different. We're not gonna feel the same. So allow yourself to discover, to be here to experience the body. Beautiful, then gently release knees into the chest. Let's rock up to a seat. Step the feet down, take the hands behind. Let's lift up into a reverse table, stretching through the front side of the shoulders. Maybe drop the head back, push the hips up. Take a deep breath in. On your breath out, drop the hips down, stretch the feet forward for a forward fold. Keep us up and in the knees, reach the arms up, and exhale, fold. Paschimottanasana. Then crown of the head forward, tailbone up and back, and then you relax over the legs. Beautiful, and then gently release that. Let's cross the ankles, plant the hands, come to a table, and then step 
back to a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On your inhale, right leg to sky. On the exhale, right foot outside of the right hand. Let's find a rotation. Inhale to lift the right arm to the sky. On the exhale, lean back, open the heart. One more inhale. Exhale, plant the right hand, step it back, down dog. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, left foot outside of left hand. Inhale, open, find your rotation. Exhale, lean back. One more inhale. On your exhale, left hand down. Step left foot to the back of the mat, down dog. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, drop down to the knees. Come to sit. Let's find a twist. Left hand, right thigh, right hand behind you. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, twist. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, move through center and switch. Twist over to the left. Beautiful. Inhale through center and we are done. I highly recommend a Shavasana right now. I'm not cueing you through one today. I should have said that at the beginning of class. I apologize. But take it if you have the time. Close the eyes. Be in stillness. Grab a blanket. Whatever makes you feel good in your Shavasana. And I hope you love this video. Please let me know down below if you did. Give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe download my app if you want more classes with me. All the links will be in the description. And thank you so much for being here. I will see you in my next video. Bye.